Hello students, we have started with chapter number 3 and the name of the chapter is India's Defense System. Now what we seen, let us revise what we have seen yesterday. We seen the primary national interest of a country includes defense from foreign aggression and internal unrest and keeping the borders safe. So we have seen this chapter how we should keep our borders safe. A nation's first duty and responsibility is to keep the security system always well prepared and ready. So we have seen we have to keep our security system always ready and prepared. And this is called it's called national security. India's security system consists of three forces that defend the country, which are they? They are our army, the navy, and the air force. So, India's security system consists of. Now, what is consists of? It consists of the army, the navy, and the air force. The Ministry Defense control all the three forces. Now, who controls all these three forces? The Ministry of Defense controls all these three forces. That is the Army, the Navy and the Air Force. The President of India is a Supreme Commander of the Defense Forces. Now, who is the Supreme Commander? The President of India is the Supreme Commander of the Defense Forces. The training institute in our country to train the personnel of all ranks of our defense forces are where are the training centers, the National Defense Academy that is at Pune and the National Defense College at, Del at Delhi. Now today we will see from paramilitary forces. There are paramilitary forces to help the defense forces in India. So what we have got, we have got paramilitary forces and what they do, they help the defense force in India. They are neither completely military force nor completely civil forces. Hence, they are called paramilitary forces. So, why they are called as paramilitary forces? Because they are neither completely military force or they are neither civil forces. The main task is to help the defense forces. The border security force, the coast guard, the central reserve police force, rapid action force are some of the paramilitary Forces. Now, which forces are included in paramilitary forces? They are the body security force, you know, who takes care of a border. The coast guard, who are close to the sea. They see if anyone is coming from the sea. Central Reserve Police Force. There are police force which are called as Central Reserve Police Force. Rapid Action Force and some of the are some of the paramilitary forces. The paramilitary forces are responsible for the, security, for the security of important locations like railway stations, oil depots, water reserves. So all this paramilitary force, uh, they are at the important locations like railway station, oil depots and water reserve etc. Similarly, they play a role in management of disaster, whether natural or man-made. Man Suppose if anything happens, if any earthquake takes place or something happens in the building is for falling down. So who comes into action? The paramilitary forces come into action. The responsibility of protecting the country's international borders during peacetime also rests with the paramilitary forces. So, taking care of the borders during peacetime is also responsible of our paramilitary forces. Now, the border security force performs tasks like creating a sense of 
security in the minds of people living in areas near the border preventing smuggling patrolling the border etc now the forces which are very close to the border they perform tasks like keeping uh, keeping a border safe they should they see there is no smuggling going on between the borders and patrolling they keep on patrolling the border so that nobody should enter into our country that's a that's a duty performed by border security force the coast guard has been created to protect india's oceanic border so we have got coast guard who takes care of india's oceanic borders and you know ocean means what big sea, big seas there are navies there which take care that from the sea nobody should enter into our country the coast guard carries out tasks like protecting the fishing occupation so the fishermen the fisher folks who are close to the sea they protect or protect protect these people within indian maritime borders preventing smuggling along sea route etc the central reserve police force helps the administration in various states to maintain law and order the rapid action force performs the tasks of bringing people's life to normalcy by moving in quickly in incidents of threat to national security such as bomb blast or riot so we have got something called rapid action force when there is some bomb kept in some unknown place that who comes into action the rapid action force if there are riots riots means what a war has taken place between two regions then who comes into action the rapid action force comes into action to take care of to take care of the people or to protect the people the national cadet corps that is ncc when you go to college you can join this national cadet corps has been established with the purpose of instilling among students the love of discipline and military training so over here in national cadet corps to certain extent you get military training and how to create a love for uh for the soldiers for the armies is instilled into the students for the students boys and girls students from schools and colleges can join the ncc so students okay whether it is boy or girl they can join this national cadet corps now home guards this organization was established in the pre independence period so when it was established before independence citizen can join home guard and assist in the defense of the country any citizen man or woman between the age of 20 to 35 years can join the home guard so those who are those who have completed the age of 20 to 25 can join this home guard the forces has the following tasks now this forces has got following tasks now which forces the border security force the home guard the central reserve force then we have got the rapid action force the national cadet corps what does they have got maintaining public security so to take care of public security supply of milk water and other essential services during riot so if a riot takes place it is their duty that basic necessities are supplied to people under any danger or strike to regulate traffic if the if there is a traffic jam then they can regulate traffic to help people at the time of nat natural disasters like flood earthquake etc so if there is flood or there is earthquake then all these forces come together and try to protect the citizens of our country so what we have seen let us revise what we have seen in 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 this chapter now in the paramilitary forces now the paramilitary force to help the defense force in india 
they are now what are the paramilitary forces they are the border border security force the coast guard the central reserve force and the rapid action force the paramilitary force are responsible for security of important locations like railway stations oil deposit water reserves etc then the purpose of establishing the national cadet corps is to install instill among students the love of discipline and military training boys and girls from schools and colleges can join the ncc so we have seen all this thing about national cadet corps any citizen between the age 20 to 35 years can join home guard and assess in defense of the country so a boy or girl who has completed the age of 20 to 25 can join this home guard in the next section we'll see challenges to india's security thank you students